हेलो गाइस दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम इधरदून टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ डीसी मोटर थ्रो न्यू ब्लिंक 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो आई ओ टी मोबाइल ऐप एंड वेब डेस्क सो टू डिजाइन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी नीड द फॉलोइंग कंपोनेंट्स नटीफाई वर्जन टू पॉइंट जीरो और नोड एम सी यू और ई एस पी थर्टी टू वाई फाई बोर्ड एल टू नाइन थ्री डी मोटर ड्राइवर डी सी मोटर और डी सी फैन एंड फ्यू जम्पर वायर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कॉन फिगर द ब्लैंक वेब डेस्क बोर्ड सो गो टू द ब्लैंक डॉट क्लाउड वेबसाइट यू विल गेट द ऑप्शन टू लॉग इन हियर सो राइट यूर लॉग इन क्रीडेंशियल्स एंड लॉग इन टू द ब्लैंक वेबसाइट इफ यू आर अ फर्स्ट टाइम यूजर देन यू कैन साइन अप वंस यू लॉग इन यू विल रीडायरेक्ट टू द पेज वेयर यू कैन क्रिएट अ टेम्पलेट फॉर यूर प्रोजेक्ट सो क्लिक ऑन द न्यू टेम्पलेट टू क्रिएट अ टेम्पलेट In this pop-up window, write your project name as Speed Control. Select the board as ESP8266 means Notify or Node MCU. Select your connection type as Wi-Fi. Write your project description here and click on the Done button. Your project template has been created. You can see here firmware configuration, the most important part of your project. You need to write it to your Arduino program. In the metadata tab, you will get the information about your project template like device name, device owner, device location, etc. You can also edit it later. In the data stream tab, we define the method of controlling and accessing the pins of Node MCU or Notify or ESP32 board to the blank through virtual pins, analog pins or digital pins. So, click on the new data stream and choose virtual pin. virtual pin property gets opened write the name as dc speed virtual pin as v0 and data type as integer set the max value to 255 and click on create so this is how you can create virtual pins similarly you can create other virtual pins if you are working on other project okay in the events tab by default here are two events online and offline you can create any notification for your events if you want to create more notification then you can create by clicking on add new events this is the new tab added by the blank automation i haven't tested its work we will work later on this tab this is not related to this project okay so now go to the web dashboard tab here you drag and drop the widget for your virtual pins so drag and drop slider in the dashboard over the mouse cursor on the slider and click on the setting icon property gets opened click on add data stream and select dc speed v0 and click on the save button so this is how we can configure the widgets in the web dashboard last tab is the mobile dashboard tab from this tab you can get the link to download the new blink iot mobile app for your ios or android mobile and click on the save button to save the changes in your project template now we need to download the arduino programming code so go to the video description and click on the given link to download the code this link will redirect you to the github website here click on the code button and click on the download zip option okay so once downloaded go to the download location you will get the winrar file with the name dc motor speed control blink 2 master right click on it and click on extract here to extract it and guys if you don't have winrar or winzip software to unzip it then a link is available in the video description to download the softwares you will get the unzip folder with the same name go inside the folder and here you can see the program for both esp32 board and node mcu series if you are using the esp32 board then go inside this esp32 program as we are using notify or you can say node mcu so go inside this folder and open the program and guys i have got lots of queries regarding blank programming that they are getting blank as an dot h error in compiling or some other board issue so i am suggesting that in the blank 2.0 programs we need all of these header files with programming code so open the program file once opened you will get the program file including all of these header files without these header files your program will not be compiled okay so back to the program in the top two lines you need to change the template id and device name so go to the info tab of your blank template copy your credentials and replace it in the program 
okay here we define the blank firmware version we define the blank output in serial here we define the board as node mcu and here we include the blank agent library we take fan and en as an integer type variable and put d6 on fan and d7 on en variable here we define blank underscore write v0 function inside it we take s0 as integer type variable and store the value using param as int function that we received from the slider that we define in blank website we analog write that value directly to en variable using analog write command now we send that value to the v1 virtual pin notice guys we are not using this virtual pin but i have just taken it for future reference so that sometime i can use it somewhere in the setup function i serially begin the board at 9600 baud rate after it we define pin mode as output for both en and fan variable we digitally hide the fan at the start now we begin the blank agent so that we can connect our board using the blank 2.0 iot mobile app note it here guys we can connect our board to blank server only through the new blank iot app and we can now directly connect it by writing the blank credentials in the program like blank old legacy version so be clear on it there is no other way for it okay now in the loop function we write the blank agent dot run function this function will handle all the query generated by blank 2.0 mobile app and web dashboard so our program has been completed now it's time to write the program to our wi-fi board this is the notify esp8266 wi-fi board i am connecting it to my computer now go to the tools in arduino ide click on board and scroll below and select the board as node mcu 1.0 esp12 e module for this esp8266 wi-fi board must be installed in your arduino ide if you don't know how to install it then the link is available in the video description that will guide you how you can install node mcu or esp8266 or esp32 board in arduino ide after selecting the node mcu board go to the tools and click on the board and select the board as com9 after it click on the upload button program has been uploaded to the board now time to connect the hardware this is the circuit diagram to connect the dc motor with node mcu you can also download the circuit diagram from the video description for both esp32 and node mcu this is notify esp8266 wifi board designed by nati engineer company if you want you can use node mcu code is the same for notify and node mcu this is an l293 d motor driver it is also designed by nati engineer company this is 12 volt to 5 volt dc to dc step down power supply this is a 12 volt dc fan and there are few jumper wires we need to make connection now take two female to female wires and connect the v in and ground pin of notify or node mcu board to the 12 volt and ground pin of dc converter now take three female to female wires and connect one number pin of l293 d motor driver to d7 and two number pin of l293 d to d6 number pin of notify or node mcu also connect the seven number pin of l293 d to ground right you can take the reference from the circuit diagram now connect the fan red color wire means positive wire to three number pin of l293 d and black color of wire of fan to six number pin of l293 d motor driver now take two male to female wires and connect ground and eight number pin of l293 d to ground and 12 number pin of dc to dc converter also connect 16 number pin of l293 d to 5 volt pin of dc to dc converter so this is how we make our connections and don't be confused take the reference from the circuit diagram for this link is available in the video description you can download it from there now time to download and configure the new blink 2.0 mobile app so download the new blink iot app from the app store or play store after downloading open the blink app we have the two options here sign up or login as we have already created an account with blink so login to it dashboard has been opened this time turn on your mobile data and wifi both because in this process the blank app uses your mobile data and connect the board to wifi now connect your notify or node mcu or esp32 board to the computer so that it can power up and 
the blank app can search it in the Wi-Fi scanning. So click on the add new device. Here we have got three options. Connect to Wi-Fi, scan QR code and quick start device. So click on the connect to Wi-Fi option and click on the ready button. Guys, as you can see, we have got a pop-up that starts with blank. Click on the join button. Now it is scanning all available Wi-Fi network in the range. It will ask you to connect your board to any listed Wi-Fi. So connect your device to your Wi-Fi network. As it has already saved my Wi-Fi configuration, so I click to continue. It has connected to Wi-Fi and we go to the next screen. We can also change the name of the device from here. After it, click on continue. Then done. Now exit from the app and back to the main dashboard of the Blink. This is how you can connect your board to Wi-Fi in new Blink 2.0 IoT server. And guys, if you have any problem to connecting your board with Wi-Fi, then you can comment in the comment box below. I will definitely help you out. I am also thinking of making a video on how to resolve the problems while connecting your board to the new Blink 2.0 IoT app. Now add widgets to your app dashboard. So click on the project template. Inside it, click on the setting icon. Here click on the plus icon. Widgets have appeared. Scroll below and click on the slider widget to add it to the dashboard. Now arrange it at the bottom and increase its size. Now click on it and in the property, we align the title to center. Click on the select data stream and select DC speed B0 and back to the dashboard. Again add goals in the dashboard. Click on the goals and align the title to the center. Click on the select data stream and select DC speed V0 and back to the dashboard. So we have configured the blank dashboard in the app. And time for the live demo. I am attaching the power to the convert. And now open the blank IoT app. As you can see while I am sliding the slider at the low level the fan is not working because at the low voltage the fan motor is not getting the required minimum voltage to run. While I am a little push it to rotate then it starts rotation. As I am increasing the value through the slider fan speed is rising. I am decreasing the level to zero. It's going to slow down the speed of fan and it has stopped now. Let's test it with a DC motor. Connect the DC motor in the place of fan. It's also working with the same logic. So guys, this is how you can control the speed of DC fan or DC motor with the help of Blink IoT app. By the same method, you can control the speed of DC motor or fan through the web dashboard of Blink website. If you are looking for such kind of IoT server, any IoT hardware or edge devices or IoT app for your business or your product, you can contact us. Contact links are available in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos. Stay tuned to our channel for more innovative videos.